I'm Tony Sklar with BNET TV. We are here at the Emerging Display Technology Conference in Santa Clara, California. I am speaking with Mr. Francis McDougall from Qualcomm. How are you today, sir? Great, thanks. Excellent. For all of our first-time viewers out there in BNET TV land, tell us what Qualcomm's doing here at the Emerging Display Technology Conference. So Qualcomm delivers about 30% of all smartphones in the world, and so they're heavily involved in displays in general. They're also involved in tablets as well as TVs. So to them, uh, they purchased a Gesture Tech, which is my company, uh, a year ago in order to add some differentiation to what they uh, could offer to that market. What was one of the reasons or hurdles that Qualcomm had seen within the market space that made them say, hey, listen, this is going to be great for the future here. Let's put this into our product pipeline now. Yeah. So uh, Android itself is very difficult to differentiate between devices. And so what they saw was an opportunity to take people away from the device, uh, handle some situations that are very difficult to control the device with, and especially with rules inside of cars where you're not allowed to touch the device, uh, for the couch where you could just control, it from the, uh, control a TV from the couch. Those kind of things look like an opportunity to them. So I heard a great story that I've referenced here for the last six weeks at least. A um, little girl about uh, five years old goes over to grandpa's house. Uh, grandpa had just recently purchased a new TV, you know, flat screen, bigger than the old CRT that he had for sure. She waves her hand in front of the TV and says, Grandpa, your TV's broken. <laughs> yeah, well, we actually hope for that. I mean, the idea of being able to control any device, you should be able to walk up to a store window and just be able to hold your hand up and start taking gesture control over it. And the same way that kids have that discomfort with a, a device that can't respond to touch and feel that it's broken, there's no reason why we won't see that in the future with all displays. And so that an initial engagement that gives them quick confirmation is a way to immediately tell them whether it's engaged or not. So it's funny we're seeing a generation that's going to be growing up saying, I know nothing other than gesture control. Microsoft did a great job with Connect yeah. in being able to bring that to the market space. Are, were they a leader and everybody else is a follower or would you have an opinion on that? Uh, I think uh, they took a huge risk with Kinect and uh, I mean, they licensed technology from Gesture Tech in order to uh, release that device. Uh, they are uh, they're certainly the leaders. Uh, they've got the right team there. They've bought a lot of patents around the space. And so for 3D camera control, I believe that they have done all the right steps to get Kinect out. Uh, we're more focused on using other technologies in order to get control over these devices. And you'll see even the standard camera on your phone today is able to do gestures. Um, and then why is it important to be involved with the conferences like Emerging Display and the NPD group? We like the, uh, the interaction with the community. Uh, we find that there's a lot of uh, mechanisms that work well together. You see touch and haptics here. Uh, there's not as much voice control. We see a lot of voice control with gesture being natural partners. And certainly the display technologies are all integrating cameras uh, these days. And so there's a natural place for gesture on all devices. Where do you see some of um, the hockey sticks type future growth here in this short 24 months? Uh, for gesture in particular? Gesture in particular. Yeah, so we are just launching on the Snapdragon uh, chips this fall, so we haven't even seen the start of it yet. And Qualcomm manufactures 30% of all smartphone chips internationally, and so you're going to suddenly see an extremely high ramp. Does that mean that you're also going to see a lot of developers being able to come to Qualcomm, a partner with them, to say, hey, I've got an app that needs to be able to utilize that chipset? Oh, sure. And so the SDK itself is going to be publicly available. We're making it as a kind of a, uh, an accessory to normal Android, and they'll be able to start releasing on it immediately. We're also working with Win8 uh, solutions. Uh, Francis, thanks very much for taking the opportunity to speak with us here today at the conference. Hope we get a chance for an update and again in the future. Congratulations on the uh, on your acquisition from uh, of your company, Qualcomm, and a great company to be partnered with. Yeah, I agree. Qualcomm is an excellent company to work with. We're having a lot of fun. Fantastic. Thanks. I've been speaking with Qualcomm's Francis McDougall here at the Emerging Display Technology Conference in Santa Clara. I'm Tony Sklar with BNET TV.